Hi, and welcome back to Wondershare Repairers. Are you tired of having an overflowing inbox that makes it difficult to find important emails? Or do you struggle to manage your Outlook account due to a cluttered and disorganized inbox? Well, fear not, because we have a solution for you. Today's video will show you how to delete Outlook emails in bulk by date in a few different ways. And I'll also show you how to repair damaged Outlook emails using the powerful and user-friendly software Wondershare Repair It. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the Wondershare Recover It YouTube channel with notifications turned on, so you don't miss out on other helpful videos just like this one. Alrighty, let's get started so you can take control of your Outlook account once and for all. If you're tired of a cluttered Outlook inbox and are looking for a way to delete emails all at once, then you've come to the right video. Here are some efficient ways to automatically delete emails older than a set period. Auto Archive is an easy and efficient way to delete old emails from your Outlook account. Here's how to set it up. Open Outlook and go to the File tab. Click on Options and then select Advanced. Under Auto Archive, click on Auto Archive Settings. In the Auto Archive window, you can choose how often you want to run Auto Archive and where you want to move the archived items. You can also set the age of the items to be archived. Once you've selected your desired settings, click OK to save the changes. By following these steps, Outlook will automatically archive and delete old emails, making it easier for you to manage your inbox and keep it organized. However, if you're looking for a way to delete older emails by date, method number two should help. Another simple solution is to wipe out older emails using the Outlook search folder function. Let me show you how it works. First, open Outlook and at the bottom of your folder list, right click on search folders and select new search folder. In the new search folder window, scroll down and select create a custom search folder and click choose. Give your new search folder a name that reflects the type of emails you want to delete, like older emails or expired emails. Now it's time to define your search criteria, so click on the criteria button to open up the search criteria window. Under the Advanced tab, select the date range for the emails you want to delete, the last six months for example. You can also add other search criteria to further refine your results, such as message contents, specific senders or recipients, or attachments. Once you've set up your new search criteria, click OK to save the search criteria and create your new search folder. Now, whenever you want to delete old emails, simply click on your new search folder and select the messages you want to delete. You can hold Ctrl while clicking to select multiple messages at once, or hold Shift to select a range of messages. Finally, hit the delete key on your keyboard and the selected messages will be sent to the deleted items folder. Using the Outlook search folder function is an efficient and effective way to keep your inbox organized and delete older emails. Give it a try and see how much easier it is to manage your emails. If that still doesn't work for you though, give the next method a go. Deleting old Outlook emails manually can be time consuming, but you can easily erase them with the help of Mailbox Cleanup. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to permanently delete Outlook emails. Firstly, open Outlook and click on File. Under Tools, click Mailbox Cleanup. Here, you can press Auto Archive, which will move older items to the archive file on your computer. Once you select this, Outlook will automatically begin archiving your older emails. Alternatively, you can use the Find section to manually search for emails older than a specific date or that are a certain size. Once you've pressed Find, you can go through the results and choose the emails you wish to delete. If you'd like to permanently delete old emails, click Empty next to the Deleted Items folder in the Mailbox Cleanup menu. Using Mailbox Cleanup is an easy and effective way to erase old Outlook emails, letting you keep your inbox organized and clutter-free in just a few clicks. Give it a try and see how much easier it is to manage your emails. 
If you're struggling with damaged or corrupted Outlook emails that you just can't access, the Wondershare Repair It for Email application is a reliable and easy to use tool that can help recover your data. With advanced algorithms, Repair It for Email can repair a wide variety of issues that may be preventing you from accessing your emails. Repair It for Email also supports multiple file formats including PST and OST files and offers a preview feature that allows you to preview the repaired emails before exporting them to a new file. The repair process is quick and simple, allowing you to recover your data in just a few clicks. Here's how it works. First, download and install Repair It for Email on your computer. Once installed, launch Repair It for Email and select Outlook PST Repair. Next, add the damaged PST file by clicking on the Add button. You can also click the Find button to search for the PST file on your computer. Once the damaged PST file is added, click on the Repair button to begin the repair process. After the repair process is completed, you can preview the repaired data to check if your damaged emails have been repaired. If you're satisfied with the repaired data, click on the Save button to save the repaired PST file to your computer. Once the repaired PST file has been saved, you can open it in Microsoft Outlook to access the repaired emails. By following these steps, you can use the Repair It For Email software to repair damaged Outlook emails and retrieve important information that might have been lost due to corruption or damage. Deleting old Outlook emails can also free up space and improve performance, and now you know how to delete Outlook emails before a certain date. However, if you have corrupted or damaged emails, don't delete them, repair them with Wondershare Repair It For Email instead. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you share your thoughts in the comment section down below if you have any other methods to repair damaged files. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel with notifications turned on. I'll see you in the next episode.